What's up guys, in today's episode I go over the Frost Giant Yama boost pedal and running it out of my Laboga Mr. Hector. Stay tuned. What is up you guys, it's your boy Luis Torres and here I am again with the Yama boost pedal uh, by Frost Giant and you know even just talking to Eric uh, earlier today I was just like dude I think I just found the best pairing with this pedal and that is the Laboga Mr. Hector and here's the one thing um, Aside from it kind of being, I don't want to say it's a rare amp because you can literally contact Eric Laboga in Poland uh, and be like, hey, this is the amp that I want. He will build it for you and ship it to you. So you can always uh, order one, but it's kind of hard to some degree to find one that's already here in the States. So the, uh, <laughs> the issue that some people have had with the Mr. Hector, which is kind of the reason why I love it is it, it kind of has a drier tone to it, which to me is what makes it stick out compared to all of my other amps that just naturally have a little more, uh, maybe for the lack of a better word, um, uh, it has, other amps have more body, if you will, whereas the Laboga Mr. Hector is just in your face, we don't need a body, we're just gonna punch the heck out of you, and that is where the Mr. Hector slides in, in the amp world, right? So, here's the Yama, and I plugged it into the Mr. Hector, and you know, with this amp, you actually have two options. You can either use the tube option, or you can use the diode option. So I'm actually using the tube uh, uh, toggle with this amp, and using just the 50 watt version because it's a dual, um, it's a dual watt multi watt, so you can do 50 or 100. And uh, so hitting it with the 50 and the 100 at one point, but let you know again, we're just using the 50 now. Um, you just hear this extra saturation that the amp doesn't naturally have by itself, which again I love. And I've actually had guys tell me that that's the reason why they love it is because it sounds drier. And I've actually had people tell me that they didn't like it uh, because it's dry. So here's this amp that I absolutely love, which is a beast. You know, I, you know, watch other YouTube channels. That amp, you know, sticks out. It is a monster. Um, so then here's the Yama. I run it through and there's just a little more of that flavor that just comes out that isn't found in that amp that's found in other amps. So the good thing is that if you've always wanted a Laboga Mr. Hector and kind of was just like, ah, it's kind of a little too dry for me, boom, here's this pedal and this pedal completely uh, fixes that or at the very least allows you to have that extra saturation that at the very least you're, you're normally, you used, you're used to hearing with PVs, with Marshalls, with Mesas, um, but as, you know, somewhat of a boutique firm, you know, here's Laboga from Poland and, you know, they have their own unique flavor, which is great. And if you ever run across this amp right here, you have got to get it. And if you are trying to get a little extra, yo, the Yama pedal right here, dude, it's absolutely sick. I read it this morning. I was just shocked. You know, I reached out to Eric. I was just like, bro. This thing is absolutely perfect with the Laboga Mr. Hector. Uh, and then he mentioned another amp also and said, you know, this pedal does great with dry amps. Uh, and it totally does. So let me go ahead and stop talking, zip, and run this guy for you guys to listen. <laughs> there I go again talking. Okay, guys, so here I am with my 1992 ESP Maverick Custom. And this thing is an absolute monster of a uh, of a guitar also. Um, so I'm going to start off with the amp on over my shoulder here. 
and the pedal off. So that way you guys get to hear what that sounds like. Then I'll activate it and then, you know, and here's the problem that I always run into is, can you guys hear it on your end? But just know that even if you can't, it's a freaking monster beast and just completely, do I, you know, it, it tidies up that tone, you know? It just makes it, um, it, it organically, it's a brute monster of, a, of an amp, um, but with the Yama Boost, it just gives it um, almost like that home feel, you know? You know, as crazy as that sounds, you almost realize like, okay, cool. It sounds dry at first, but when you use this pedal, it sounds like a lot of the amps that you're used to. So you never get that, that option or that opportunity to say, I don't like it because it, with very little, you'll absolutely love it. So, all right, pedal off. on standby so I'll explain a little something with you so um, all right. so most of the amps that we're totally used to using Jesus Christmas the amps <laughs> you know I just moved the mic around so um, so you know overall the amps that we're used to always playing uh, there's at the very least for the most part a presence knob right and some amps have a presence and a resonance. So the presence is the high end, the resonance, the resonance is the lower end, and it's kind of like its own little separate EQ. This amp doesn't have either. So that's where you get the dry sound from. And, you know, again, I can't stress that just by itself, it is an, it's an absolutely incredible amp. Uh, I couldn't wait to find one locally or at least somewhere and, um, Ended up buying the white uh, Laboga Mr. Hector from, what's that guy's name? Ah, is his, uh, Pete Paul Lit, ah, the guitarist from Black, Black Veil Brides, right? Is that what it is? Black Bride Veils? No, Black Veil Brides, I think. Uh, Pitts, is that his last name? Pitts, Litz? you know, whatever. Um, so that guy was actually selling a white one and he just wasn't dickery. I was like, yo, what's up, my man? Sell me that thing. How much you want? And he's just like, this is what I want. Um, I ended up finding it for a few hundred bucks cheaper locally in the area. This one was actually built, uh, by, uh, the father. So this was built in 2015 and, um, it's, a, it's just an absolute monster of an amp. So I cannot stress, uh, that if you find a Laboga Mr. Hector, you have to get it um, at, at all costs. And if for whatever reason, you're just like, yo, why is it so dry? I'm telling you why. There's no resonance or no, and no presence. But 
there's a quick fix, and that is with the Yama Boost pedal. Guys, I'll go ahead and put a link below. Click on the subscribe button, you jerk. Jerk. What are you guys waiting for? Yo, I'm gonna, uh, like, I feel like I need to either not make videos anymore or make more videos, so that way you guys will be like, oh, dude, he has another video. Let me subscribe so that way I can get you know, all the latest ones. So, um, so guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are the absolute best. You know, I'm still broke, still don't make any money on, uh, YouTube, but you know, I'm having fun. This is my, uh, cool little hobby and hopefully I get to entertain you guys and you get to laugh every once in a while. So guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are family and the best family that is. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And as usual, I will talk to you soon.